Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Demon's Souls. In this video, we're going to be continuing through the Bulletarian Palace. Uh, I had not planned on doing that, but uh, unfortunately, in the last video, uh, I got caught off guard because I forgot. No, I shouldn't say I forgot. I guess it is forgot since it's, it happened in the original Demon's Souls, and I didn't remember that that was the case. But we got caught off guard by Ostrava asking for help. And in my rush to try and take out a fat official, we died. And then I had to rush back to try and keep Ostrava from dying. And luckily we saved him, but now that means we have to go back through the level, get our souls, uh, and then probably finish the area. Otherwise, Ostrava could still potentially die. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Stone of ephem Ephemeral Eyes, because if we're going to be here, we might as well be working it towards pure black. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves body form again and uh, work our way back through. Now, luckily, Ostrava is safe for the moment. I don't know how long that will be the case for, though. And obviously, we, we learned we have to be more careful. Now, last time, I think we went down this way. Oh. There's an item there. Ow. Who shot me? Oh, that guy there. So there's an item there. Is there a path down there we can go through? Well, let's go this way first. Then we'll figure out what we're going to do over there. Ooh, claws. Is an item over there I apparently never got? So we got stuff to check out. Okay, blue... Oh, blue eye night gauntlets. Nice. Okay. Okay, I know where we are now. So that's that. Give me one moment, I gotta kick a cat out because he's trying to bite stuff and claw stuff that I don't want him to do. So, one moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what we can do here. There's no longer going to be something to save us. However, I didn't realize that guy came out of there last time. Um... So there might be something down there we didn't get before. Ow! Holy crap, that hurt! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Stealth throwing dagger. That's cool. New items are always nice. New moon grass. Guys over here. I'm just gonna take care of a few things before we head back to grab that item we saw. Oh crap. Forgot about this guy too. Take care of the archers over there. You're a dick. I can't believe that still happened. Alright, now let's go get that item we missed. I don't need cling ring. I need... That. Right, okay. Here, so if we drop right here, grab this, and from here, I guess we can fall down to here. It's fine. One sec, I need to sneeze. <sighs> Waiting on the second. Oh, sorry you had to hear that. Oh, man. I went to say, waiting on the second one, and then, of course, as soon as I try and say that, the second one appears. Oi. I knew I had two sneezes, but I didn't want you to just think I was just going to sit there. 
Or, or like forgot to unmute the mic or something. All right, I know we got a red eye knight up here. Where there are enemies around here. Yeah, there you are. Oh, come on. Really? I hit you. Why did I not stagger you? You really have hyper armor during that stupid attack? It's crap. Whatever. At least they give New Moon grass. Enemies, enemies everywhere. Alright, I know we got archers over there too, so let's go deal with them. Okay. Just want to get back to my souls. The sad thing is we were right at a shortcut, and we just ended up dying because I got rushed. I just got a little... I should have been more patient and more careful, but Ostrava worried me. And, uh... Made a mistake. So we'll get back to where we were. We're almost there. It's a little further. Once again, my lack of managing my stamina is going to kick me in the butt if I'm not more careful. This way last time, right? I think so. We'll go those other directions soon enough. But let's get back to where we were before. The bolt. Yeah, that's where we were. You know what? I'm gonna be smart. This might not be as smart as I thought, because those things are there. Fine. Whatever. Come at me, bro. Oh, that works. Alright, that just leaves this guy. God, that hurts. I hate when they start getting hyper armor. Oh my god, come on. Like, I think I expect my attack to just stagger him, and it doesn't. Alright, officials cap and new moon grass. Officials cap is important. Uh, let's follow him for a bit. I really don't want him to die. I probably should have gone this way before opening that. Because he's weak. Because he got beat up by those knights earlier. Do you just stay there? Please tell me you just stay there. I think he does, which is good. As long as he just stays there, we can look around a bit. Okay. I think he does. He's just going to stand there. We do still have to beat the area, 
Because if I don't, then I think he'll still get attacked when enemies respawn. And there's no way we'd be able to get to him before he died. So we do want to finish this up, but... Is that just a... Is that a giant scraping spear? No, it's still... Okay, it's stuck in the ground. It just has like an end that looks like the scraping spear. Alright, so this is our shortcut. It's open now. Now that it's open, I do want to check... I swear there used to be a crystal lizard around here. Apparently not. Uh, I do want to check if this key ring we got opens this gate back here. I think it does. It appears to be locked. It does not open that gate. Okay. What did that key ring open then? <gasps> I know what it opens. It's something... <sighs> All right, we ha we can't reload, but I think there is something back here somewhere that we missed, and I just have to remember exactly where it is and try not to die on the way back there. I absolutely think we missed something. Uh, way way, potentially way 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 back. Luckily, all these enemies are pretty weak compared to us now. Wait, is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Okay, this is the one. All right, let's kill these other enemies just to make sure they don't aggro and kill us from behind. Okay. I totally forgot about this. We never checked this door before because I forgot about it. And I just remembered it here with this key ring. So now we go down here. Really? You just stand in the... Oh, you're annoying. I have to fight you in here? Oh, I should have known better. You dickbag. How? Just how? Whatever. What do you got? Bloody Iron Key... New Moon Grass. That might be the key we need. Oh good, it still goes into our inventory. It doesn't go back to the thing. Heavy Iron Key encrusted with dried blood. This might be the one we need for that other door. Okay, Renowned Hero's Soul. Yeah, okay. NPC that we've not talked to before. Who goes there? Oh, you killed that blooded sluggard for me. I'm called Vior, the elder of the Twin Fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You deserve a handsome reward. And may I have none. <laughs> So for anyone who's played any of the other Souls games, uh, this is the original Onion Knight, basically. That's where that little sleeping thing comes from. Uh, he started it, Bior started it. So this is Bior of the Twin Fangs. Valorfax of the Twin Fangs was the other Twin Fang that uh, he is the one that escaped the fog and warned the world about it. Um, but this is, there were two because they're called the Twin Fangs and this is the other one, this is Bior. So he's just sleeping now. So we can't do anything else with him, but he's free. So that's good. Another NPC we've let go. I don't remember what else is down here. Stored hero soul. Yeah, 
think that's a crystal lizard. Oh, well that's dead. Okay. Large hardstone shard. Hey, we needed those. I wonder if that's enough to upgrade our bow. There's gotta be an enemy down here, right? Oh, or is this right behind that dragling merchant that used to be down here? Before we moved on. Nice. Tower shield. Oh. Oh, very cool. Okay. We'll check that out when we go back to the Nexus. Alright, so now we can move forward. Because again, I don't want Ostrava to die, so I do think we have to uh, beat the boss. Which kind of sucks. Alright, so now we can go back this way. Oops, I did not mean to hit that button. I uh, was itching my arm. Alright, so now we can probably open this door, right? Yes, use bloody iron key. Okay. This is what I was wanting to do initially and why we came to this area. I don't remember these areas though. Really? I do not remember there being so much back here. Use bloody iron key. Okay. We're not going back there just yet because it looks like there's a lot of other stuff back here potentially. Stadiums. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Okay, never mind. I guess that is where I need to go. But why are there two gates closed by the same key? That seems silly. Let's do this little castle town area. Back here. Oh man. This looks so cool. There's the um, bridge to the castle proper, and this is just like a side part of the castle, it looks like. This looks so cool. I love it. Ring of the Accursed. Ring of Magical Nature. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't do the other thing I wanted to do here uh, at the moment, so we'll have to come back here. Uh, one of the items we needed had to be sent back to... Yeah, had to be sent back to storage. So we'll have to come back later. The only reason is, again, because I'm worried that Ostrava will die if we leave. Ring of, magical uh, Ring of Magical Nature increases magic memory capacity. So it's similar to the uh, Ring of Sincere Prayer, not Ring of Sincere Prayer, the Ring of Devout Prayer. This ever-cold ring increases magic memory capacity. Occur uh, according to legend, cursed witches are born bearing this ring. The natives of uncivilized lands avoid these rings like the plague. Man, it would suck to be born, be born wearing a ring. Like, seriously? That's weird. Uh, Ring of the Accursed becomes enemy's top attack priority. Serpent ring crafted with thin gold lures enemies into attacking its bearer. Once fastened to the fingers of criminals, making them constant targets of stones and spit. So the reason you'd want to wear this is it is good for um, if you're doing co-op and you're a blue phantom helping people out. Uh, if you are, if you were the one summoned and you're helping someone, uh, you can wear that ring and enemies will attack you instead of the host. 
and that's why that's useful. Alright, so we'll come back here to finish up what needs to be done there. I wish we could do it right this instant, but we can't because we don't have the item we need due to uh, me being dumb. Right, we need to go back up this way. So I think we need to go back up the stairs to the right once we get through the gate. Uh, because I think I saw some enemies up that way. So we can go deal with them and look at some stuff. And then... Oh, I really don't want to beat the boss here yet. I guess it doesn't matter. We already did pure white. But it's going to negate our the death that we had here. I don't want a chance leaving and coming back and Ostrava dying. I really don't. It'll throw us off, but we should have enough stone of ephemeral eyes, I think. We'll be all right. It just is not an ideal situation. I think we need to go down here. Take out these archers. Only two of them? Okay. Uh, Late Moon Grass. Soldier's Lotus. Unknown Hero Soul. I can't do much there. Oh, fat official and three red eye knights up there. Great. That looks like fun. Alright. I don't think. Okay, so they just ran this way. I hope they didn't kill Ostrava. No, he's still standing there. Okay. See, that's why it's, I have to beat the boss. Yes, it's going to throw off. And I really shouldn't have used that stone of ephemeral eyes because um, it was a it was kind of a waste. But we should have enough. We, we have six right now, right? That should be plenty. Yeah, we have six. That's plenty. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but I just I can't risk him dying. All right, now's the real fun. We gotta beat all these guys, plus Red Eye Knights. Fun times. Seriously. Oh. He started to sound fearful there. He, uh... I don't think he uh, is as uh, confident anymore. I remember when these guys were dangerous. They reused this idea in Dark Souls 3. Um, the uh, Lothric Castle sequence when you're going up to the, the boss there is the same kind of idea where you uh, fight a bunch of tougher knights and enemies just in... They're all just kind of blocking the boss area. This is very, very similar. And it's a castle and everything, too. Really? Another spiked shield? 
Late moon grass. Okay. I think that's everything. There's an item over here, so we'll grab this. Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, full moon grass. Okay. Alright. Let's head on up. Here we go. All right, so this is the penetrator, and Bior comes to help. So if you free Bior, he will help you with this fight, which is really cool. But yeah, I love that you think you're going to be fighting a uh, a um, fat official, and it ends up that you have to fight the penetrator. He just kills a fat official for you. So. I don't know if you remember, if you don't, I'll tell you now, there were some heroes of Bulletaria. One was the Tower Knight, one was the Penetrator, and the other one was like some archer. And Bjor got the final hit, of course he did. Okay. So yeah, that we've taken out two of the bulletarian heroes. They're demon, they're the, the demons of them at least. Uh, I don't know if they were turned into demons or if the demons are just replicating them because I highly doubt that the the true Tower Knight was as big as the Tower Knight demon was. So I think these guys were literally just mirroring the actual people. Um, but still, that's two of them down, and it's cool that Bjor will come and help you. Because then you can be a lot more aggressive because Bjor will take a lot of the aggro. Fine work by there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up your bone of fight at night? <laughs> nah, you uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. And so he'll sit down and go to sleep. It's also cool because you get to see the weapons he uses, which is a great sword and a crossbow. I don't remember what the great sword name is, though, offhand. And he's asleep. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. So that takes care of that. We got the Silver Demon Soul. Soul of the Penetrator Demon. Soul of the Penetrator Demon, a source of great power. That's all there really is to say about that. All right, the King's Tower. Archstone of the Penetrator Demon. The King's Tower, once a symbol of Bulletaria, stands ravaged by the claw marks of Drakes, while silver-haired old King Alot sits on his crumbling throne, witness to the desolation. Well, we won't be going there yet. We're going to head back to the Nexus. And we should have... Okay, cool. Now, Ostrava's not here, which worries me a little bit. Um, actually, that worries me a lot. I hope he didn't die. But Bjor is here now. Do you intend to challenge the king? You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king is defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. I defeated even myself. That's how I ended up dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. It's interesting that they didn't outright kill him and instead imprisoned him, but uh, it's cool to find out that the reason he got imprisoned is because he tried to take on the king and he got captured by uh, apparently some black knights. Beware the 
Alright, that's all he's got to say. So let's go drop some stuff off in storage here and pick up an item. I was worried sick. So let's drop all these. And then those can go. I don't know why I'm keeping Storm Ruler on me. I really don't need it at the moment, but I'm going to keep it on me anyway. No, I'm not. Holy crap. Even with dropping all that stuff off, I'm still almost near weight. Why? Oh, I know what it is. It's all of these. They really did make uh, the grass take up a lot of weight. Like, holy crap. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait. Right, we need something. We need... Where is it? Ah, official's cap. The sig signature hat worn by the king's officials. Wear it to pass as an official yourself. The rotund officials of Boletaria appeared just before the scourge of demons. Once they ingratiated themselves with the king, they pro uh, proceeded to mercilessly terrorize the masses. This uniform became a symbol amongst commoners of this despicable clique, also known for their uncanny, impenetrable grins. So we need that. We are indebted to you. All right, so let's talk to Maiden in Black. level up a few times oh, two times so we're almost to vitality 25 which is where I want to get ooh that actually helped our item burn by four points that's pretty good goodbye souls okay so now we're gonna head back to Boletaria and we want to go to inner ward again and we're gonna go back to that area behind the doors that we used the rusted or bloody or whatever iron key to, to get through. I do also want to check if Ostrava's still around, so we're going to do that first because if he's still around I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> God, there's only two dogs here. For some reason I thought there would be one more. These are already down, so I have to worry about that. Okay, apparently I do have to worry because I walked right into them and burned myself. Okay, well, the gate's open. I don't see Ostrava there. I don't see the Red-Eye Knights there. So I think we're safe. We'll just come up here. You dick. Stupid kick. I'm, like, waiting to parry, and he just is like, I'm going to kick you now. That's the guy that died when the gate closed. Oh, he's here. He's just standing there. So he's safe. That's, that's good. But why is he just standing there? Huh. Alright, well as long as he's safe, I guess I don't care. What's this area now? I'm betting it's it's still neutral, it looks like, but it might be leaning towards light. We have to die here a lot now. I think we'll need four deaths, probably, to be able to actually get it to black. I need him to probably move on before we do that. So we'll go down here. Down here. There were no enemies in here. Yet. <laughs> Goodness knows there's always a trap. Oh, that's creepy. It actually makes us do the laugh and have the grin. Does it really? Oh, we don't now. That was weird. What? Hey! Uh... Uh... 
Okay, the only thing I can think is that I need the full official set. Ah, oh, son of a... Alright. Let's go back to the Nexus. Which, of course, means that we're going to need to check on Ostrava again afterwards. Because the last thing I need is for him to die. I think he's safe. Honestly, we'll probably just let him be. Um, and we'll just come back here. Uh, this way. Nope, it's this way. Okay, we need officials gear. Oh, thank you. I was worried sick. Oh, there they are. Officials clothes. Officials gloves. Officials leggings. We are indebted to you. Okay. Now let's try this again. I did it again, thinking Monster Hunter controls. Just in case we're supposed to put it on before we head in. Let's just put it all on. I really don't like how that makes our character look at all creepy. Alright, so now we're wearing the official's clothes. I thought, so, I, I mentioned in previous videos, the official's clothes didn't used to be in this game. It was just the hat. Yep, okay, so we had to wear it all. Does he not attack me? What do you want with me? Have you brutes no mercy? Do as you wish. Secrets here. Only a tired, emaciated frame. Do as you wish. There are no secrets. Okay. Uh, so we need to save her. So to do that, we kill him. Yeah. All right. I don't know if I need to take my outfit off or not, if I can just talk to her. Do as you wish. There are no secrets here. Okay. Let's change back. Heavens, you... You... You came to save me. Thank you. No, I am fine. With a little rest. I can soon walk. You go on ahead. I do not wish to be a dead weight. You go on ahead. Okay. So we've now freed her. So she'll go back to the Nexus. It's the switch he used. That's just a fireplace. Alright, let's grab whatever item he dropped. Crescent Axe and New Moon Grass. So we got 
a crescent axe before, but that is not what they use. They use some kind of different axe. Maybe it was the Bardich, I think, is what they use. Oh, there's an item there. Let's go grab that. Oof, that could have been bad. Okay, Legendary Warrior Soul. Then we get back to the Nexus. And we continue to hope that Ostrava does not get himself killed somehow. I think I think he's okay. I really do. I think they did that on purpose. If you can at least get him past that gate, I think he just stays in a spot where he's safe as long as you don't aggro enemies near him. So I think we'll be in good shape. So it's funny, it took two videos, two om almost full videos, to do what I had planned on doing. I don't know why I thought I'd be able to do it in that first video. Uh, I think I could have if I had not died because of trying to uh, deal with Ostrava. I was worried sick. So let's get all this stuff put away. Do I have anything else I'm carrying on me? Oh, Crescent Axe. And while we're here, let's look. I think we got a weapon, right? Was it the great sword? This is what Bior uses. This extremely large sword, similar to a straight sword, is a versatile weapon, but one that requires inhuman strength to wield. Its extreme weight can knock foes into the air. Bior of the Twin Fangs is known to wield this weapon. I think that's the one we got. Do we get anything else? I don't think so. We already read Flamberg. Read Storm Ruler, Dragonbone Smasher. Why do claws stack, but none of the other weapons stack? That's weird. Anywho. Alright, so yeah, that was what we needed to read. Is that great sword? So now, if we come over here, our new friend is here. Hello again. You saved me from great agony. I am sorry, for I cannot offer proper thanks. But should you have demon souls, I can teach you magic. Only my witchcraft is of a dark nature and arouses suspicions. Why not try the magic of the great sage Frank? Are you certain you wish to learn witchcraft? It would honor me to assist one such as you, but... Are you sure? Right, so much like Frake, she will teach you magic for demon souls. Uh, but her magic is different than Frake's magic. Once, I lusted after demon souls. I passed the fissure into Boletaria, but became trapped by the Nexus. Then, the king's executioner, Meralda, chained me up inside that tower. My thirst for demon souls is no more. On the contrary, I find such power dangerous. Do you know Yurt, the silent chief? He dons pitch black armor and a helmet with two sharp spikes. Yurt's presence in Boletaria has resulted in the death of many a great hero. Whatever his motives may be, he is a grave danger to us all. Do watch out for him. I cannot bear to think of harm coming to you. Interesting. We have not run into Yurt. Frake wields a different type of magic from my witchcraft. Frake's magic stems from an understanding of the essence of the demon soul, while my witchcraft merely channels its energy. If the demon is cursed, so shall be the craft. Frake's power comes from human potential, while mine is a dark, dependent art. It's very cool that they tell you the difference between them. So Frake's 
has to do with human potential and understanding, whereas hers comes from just wielding the power of demons. Okay, so that's all of hers. So learn magic. So she can teach us relief uh, using the pure blood demon soul, which we no longer have, so it's nothing we can do with that. Uh, magic derived from the soul of Maiden Astraea, become, de uh, become demon. Fully recover a companion by touching them. Astraea is the most corrupted of all demon kind, but her essence parallels the most divine of beings. So that's something, th here you go, here's where the magic's really teaching us some of the lore. So Astraea, in what she did, she became the most corrupted demon because she's supposed to be pure, but she gave in to demon, like the, the demonic power in order to help people. And it just made her completely corrupted. But all her spells are super powerful and divine. Uh, so this is cool. It's useless for us. But if you're in co-op, you can heal your teammates uh, by touching them with this spell. And it fully heals them. Curse Weapon. So this uses the Silver Demon Soul. This was what was going on with the Penetrator's Blade. It had that red uh, aura to it. Magic derived from the soul of the Penetrator Demon. Use Catalyst equipped in the left hand to greatly strengthen, but also curse the weapon equipped in the right. Symbolizes the mighty sword wielded by the Penetrator that has slain countless warriors who bravely face the demon. So what it does is it gives you a huge flat boost to your physical attack power it no matter how this is one of those spells that doesn't matter how high your magic or faith stat is it will always do the same amount of physical damage increase and i think it's like 150 it's pretty strong but even though while it's active you also much like great the the magic sword makoto it will drain your health because it's cursed so uh, it's a very powerful spell. This is the one that people use uh, most frequently with the Cracked Talisman of Beasts. And the reason for that is if the Talisman of Beasts is in its cracked state where you only have the magic or faith requirement to use it, its magic assist is only like 19. What happens is because this is a flat increase to your physical damage, you'll still get the increase. But instead of doing 1% of your health every second while it's active, it will do one health of damage every second while it's active. So if you use the Crack Talisman of Beasts, this spell is outright OP. The problem is I'm hoping they patched that because it's stupid. It is dumb how powerful that combination is. It basically makes it so that melee users, all they have to do is increase their intelligence to have three memory slots for magic, get this spell, and then boom, they have an incredibly OP buff that they can put on their weapon as long as they have uh, 18 faith or 18 magic. And you can't have both. If you have both at 18, you will have a normal Talisman of Beasts and you'll be taking the 1% HP uh, damage every second. But if you only focus on magic or even just get... If you use neither and you just get one of them to 18, you have the Crack Talisman of Beasts and this, this is an OP spell. So I hope they patch that. I really do. Because it was insanely powerful in the original Demon Souls. To be fair, the bug that the Talisman of Beasts could be used without meeting all its requirements was kind of stupid, too. Like, I understand that you can use any other weapon while not meeting their requirements, but and they're all just insanely weak. They get, like, 90% of the damage removed. But it's dumb that you can cast spells of both magic and f magic and miracles without meeting both requirements. You just have to meet one of them. It's dumb that it works that way. And it wouldn't be so bad if all spells scaled. But the fact that there are spells that don't scale and instead are a flat amount, that's why it becomes broken. So I hope they patched it. I don't know if they did. I, I, I just hope they did. Ignite. Magic derived from the soul of the armor spider demon creates a large flame at the caster's fingertips. An extremely primitive fire spell. So this is the spell that you can see in the little video it's what the fat officials use sometimes it's just a quick explosion right in front of you it's rather worthless firestorm magic derived from the soul of the dragon god demon creates a storm of fire with the caster at its center channels the raw power of the great dragon god deliverer of chaos whose devastating flames will never be tamed this is one of the most powerful spells in the game it is super super op lots of people use it because the flames kind of look random, but they're really not, and they have almost no distance between them, so it's very hard to dodge this attack other than just rolling away from the caster. So even if you don't get hit by it, the caster has still caused there to be distance between them and the person they're trying to kill, thus allowing 
them to continue to cast spells. So it it's a good spell for either just doing massive damage or to create distance between you and your opponent. It's a, it's used a lot in PvP. It's also a very good spell for trolling people. So that's all she's got right now. I owe my life to you. If you are ever in need of my witchcraft, speak to me. It is a dark art, but it is all that I can offer. Yeah, so that's super cool. She's really cool. You can get some really good, powerful spells from her. Uh, Alright, so before we end the video, I think there's one more thing I want to do in the Shrine of Storms. Um... Problem is, I don't know. I, I don't even know when I if I'm right about this, but I think it's possible to get Satsuki's gear. But I don't remember how. So it's clearly not here. It's not here next to where he was standing when we ran into him. So, let's go back down where the Magic Sword Makoto was. It might be over there. Otherwise, I'm completely wrong, and it's, you don't get it from here. You might just have to buy it from someone. But I swear you get it off of a corpse. And I think it's supposed to insinuate that it's Satsuki's corpse. Because remember, all the people who are here are trapped by the Nexus. So even if we kill them, technically they should still be around in soul form. But, you know, we killed them, so they're avoiding us. At least that's my my guess. I could be completely wrong, but... I mean, even Yuria the Witch stated that, you know, she's trapped by the Nexus. She came through the, the fissure, got trapped by the Nexus. And she's still in body form because she hadn't died. But if she were to die, I would assume she'd stay in soul form somewhere. I just don't know where she is. Or where she'd be. Or And everyone should be that case, I would think. But there's no way to really prove it because we don't see the NPCs again, I don't think. If you kill them, you don't see their soul form, but you can see their black phantom form sometimes. Uh, That's problematic. I can't get that because we have to get back to pure white. And killing Satsuki put us in... Not pure white. Oh, I might have screwed that up. I can fix it, though. We'll do that in another video. There is one other way to increase world tendency. Uh, outside of just killing a boss. And the way to do that is to kill a boss in co-op. So... If we do co-op and we help someone beat a boss here, um, we can uh, get the world tendency back up to pure white. So that's probably what we're going to have to do. Maybe in the next video we'll try and do that. Um, I haven't done any co-op yet. The problem is you have to be in soul form to do co-op. You can't put a soul sign down uh, when you're in body form, which is kind of silly. So what we'll probably do in the next video is um, head back to the Tower of Latria and continue through that until we die and if we die maybe we'll come here and try and do a uh, uh a co-op and see if we can get back to pure white can't promise that'll work but we can attempt it but that's where we're going to end this video um I do, I, I th what I think was on that stone is I absolutely think that's Satsuki's gear. So I think what I was supposed to do was after I beat Satsuki, not leave the area, run back there to get, um, to get that gear or, or die and without leaving the area and go back there and get it. Um, so we'll just have to get back to pure white. I forgot about that. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go to the Tower of Latria next time. Keep going through it until we, we die. Uh, once we die and lose our body, we'll get our souls back. And then we'll try and do some co-op. Um, the main reason I haven't done co-op up to this point is because I don't want other people's uh, user IDs given away and things like that. And um, 
so I'll ha it makes for a lot of extra editing when I have to try and black it out. Uh, but that's what we'll I think what we'll try and do because I do believe that I, I believe there's a trophy for doing co-op, so we're gonna need to do it anyway. So I think that's what we'll try and do is we'll um next video we'll we'll do that. So that is the plan. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos. And of course, you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. I've also left my Twitch and Twitter links in the description. That way you can check out those platforms if interested. However, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.